Hey everyone, welcome to today's episode of How to Do Everything. Uh, we're going to be going over how to read and understand binary, which binary is the basic uh, storage of data across most uh, or all electrical devices. So let's jump right in. Uh, if you're on this video, then obviously you have some sort of history or background that led you to want to know binary, so I'm not going to go too deep into uh, what it is or how it works other than uh, just some basic functionality of it. So we'll start off by explaining a, a basic breakdown of what binary is. Uh, binary is a representation obviously of, of data in nothing but ones and zeros. Uh, a single <clears throat> digit or a single one or zero in binary is called a bit. Uh, a bit, four bits makes up a nibble. Let's do this. Nibble equals four bits. And then you'll have what they call a byte. And a byte equals two nibbles or eight bits. And then from there you can go to, let's say, a kilobyte. And a kilobyte is going to equal a thousand bytes. or 8,000 bits. So you see how it works? Uh, this is how, you, you, I'm sure you're familiar with the terms kilobyte, megabyte, gigabyte, terabyte, things like that. Uh, that shows you how much data is in even a single kilobyte, 8,000 bits. And it doesn't seem like a lot, but whenever I show you what we're about to do, you'll understand how much data you can actually transmit across 8,000 bits. <clears throat> so to get into that, uh, a few things to know about binary is binary is read from the right side to the left side. It's read from right to left, which is opposite of everything you know from <laughs> when you started learning until now. Uh, the smallest values are on the right, and the largest values are on the left. So I'm going to show you this right here and then we're going to get into it. So what if I told you that every number that you could think of could be made with nothing but ones and zeros? Well it can and what you're looking at is the formula that is used to come up with every number using nothing but one and zeros. So we'll start over here on the right side, again, with the smallest value, and we'll see that this is the first bit. It's a single bit of data. It can either be one or zero, nothing else. And then we have the second bit. The third bit, fourth bit, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, and the sixteenth bit. This right here, what you're seeing is two bytes of data. Two bytes of data or four nibbles. So there's a nibble there, there's another nibble, another nibble, and another nibble. And that's the most common way that you'll see uh, binary <clears throat> displayed is in nibbles. You'll see them in groups of four. And I'll, I'll show you that a little bit later. But first let's look at what each value represents. So the first bit in a binary word, uh, unsigned of course, not we're not talking about negatives here. The first bit in an unsigned binary word will always equal one. Well, it won't equal one, but it'll represent one. A value, a decimal value of one. The second bit will equal a decimal value of two. Third bit will be a decimal value of four. Fourth will be a value of eight, so on and so forth. All the way up to the 16th bit which will be a decimal value of 32768. So I'm sure some common terms that you've heard of, uh, obviously 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, 512, 1024, right? These are very common numbers, and I'm sure you see them on like a 16 gig uh, memory card or an 8 gig memory card or you know 32 gigs of uh, hard drive space 
or now we're getting you know uh, 128 gigs uh, in a micro SD card um, so you see that a lot uh, in data and the reason you see that is because those are even representations uh, of a value or those are even uh, sizes of a value you don't see a 7 gig or a 14 gig or 14 megabytes or anything like that you always see them represented in these values so let's start looking at how the numbers actually represent these values so what we'll do first is we'll just plug in uh, let's let, let's go to what I said where any number can be created by these values so let's create the number one real simple so we're going to we're going to focus on just the last nibble or the first nibble here because we're not going to do any big values but the same thing will apply all the way across. So just looking at the nibble here, again a nibble 4 bits, 1 2 3 4 or reading it from binary would be bit 1, bit 2, bit 3 and bit 4. We're going to put a value of 1 in here. And the way we do that is we'll have a 0 for our, our last bit, a full a 0 for the next one a zero for the next one and a one for the first bit and all you have to do to convert binary to decimal is look at your values of your bits and add them up so there's a one in the first place which equals a value of one and none of the other bits are on which means none of the other values are on so because of that all we have is one so now we'll look at a value of two Again, we'll do a zero in the eight, uh, rep in the fourth bit, a zero in the third bit, and now we'll do a one in the two bit and a zero in the one bit. So now, when we add them up, again we're only looking at this section, not the one below it. You'll see there's a one in the two column, and everything else has zeros. That means that this binary nibble is equal to decimal two. Now let's do a three, and this is where we'll start adding. So now we're gonna do a zero in the fourth bit, a zero in the third bit, we're gonna do a one in the two bit, and a one in a one bit. And now what we have is a binary one one zero zero. Again, we read it from right to left, one one zero zero. So a value of one and a value of two are the two bits that are on so we'll add those together and we'll get a decimal three. So one one zero zero is how you read a decimal three in binary. And now we'll go on and we'll do a four. I'll show you all the way up to eight so you see this pattern that develops. So we'll do a four, so we'll say one in the fourth bit. And now look, we have a, a decimal four here. So we'll put a one there and then zero and zero. And now if you trace these down, you'll see that that's the four bit is high and you say high as an on, on or off, high or low. So the four bit is high and it's the only one that's high. So there's a value of four. And now we'll look at a value of five. So again, the fourth bit is off. The third bit is on. The second bit is off and the first bit is on. So now we have a value of four and a value of one that both have high bits. And because of that, 1010 zero, zero is equal to a decimal 5. So now let's do 6. So again, same pattern. We're going to go 0 on the 8 bit. We're going to go 1 on the 4 bit, 1 on the 2 bit, 0 on the 1 bit. So you see now we have a value of 4 and a value of 2. Add them together and you get a 6. So we have so far decimal 1, decimal 2, decimal three, four, five, and six. And now we'll do, let's do seven. So we're gonna go zero on this bit, and now watch, we're gonna go one on the four bit, one on the two bit, and one on the one bit, and that gives us a total of four, five, six, seven. So a value of seven is one, 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 zero in binary. Now, 8 is real simple. We'll turn on the 8 bit and we'll leave all the other bits off. So there you have a value of 8 decimal represented in binary. So 0001. And this continues on all the way up till the end of what you have uh, 
in your binary word. Now, a thing about binary is <clears throat> if you look at the maximum value you can get out of your binary word is one decimal lower than the value of the next bit. So let me explain that a little bit. The maximum, let's say both of these bits are on. That's a value of three, which is one decimal lower than the value of the next bit, which is four. And if we do this one, let's say all three of these are on. So that's four, five, six, seven. So all three of these bits high or on is going to equal seven, which is one decimal lower than the value of the next bit, which is eight. So basically if all of these are on, if the, the maximum value you can get in a nibble is going to be 15 because a nibble is four bits. And if all four bits are on, then that's eight plus four plus two plus one, which equals 15, which is one decimal smaller than the value of the next bit. So 15 will be one, 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 but then 16 will be one and all these will be zeros again because this bit represents 16, so there's no need to turn on any other bits. So you can start to see a pattern in how every single digit can be represented, or every single decimal value can be represented by nothing but ones and zeros based on this equation uh, in this format of values. So let's say in this 16-bit word or two-byte word here, if all of these values were on, then our maximum value, let's pull up the calculator here, our maximum value, if we go to basic standard, so let's 32768, right, times two, that's how we get our next value, is 65536. So the next bit after this, after this bit here, the next bit to the left, will have a value of 65536 which means if all of these bits are on, all 16 bits are on, then we're going to have a value of 65,535, which is one decimal smaller, or one, one number smaller than the value of the next bit, which is 65,536. So it's a pretty easy way to tell uh, what a, a binary representation is. So the highest value you can have in a nibble is going to be 15, and the highest value you can have in a byte is 255, because the next bit is 256. So the ninth bit will be 256. So in an 8-bit word, or remember, 8 bits equals 1 byte. So a 1-byte word, the highest value you're going to have is 255. And you can see that represented, if we were to continue this chart here, you'll see that represented by nothing but ones all the way across. <clears throat> Just like here, you see there's a one, and then there's two ones, and then there's three ones, and then eventually there'll be four ones, and then five ones, and all the way up until all eight digits will have a one in it. So, uh, real quick to check our math, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and do a generic a generic binary number and then we'll convert it to decimal and then we'll use the calculator to check ourselves. So let's see here. Let's do something simple here. Let me expand this so we have some room. Let's do a, let's see here. We'll do one zero zero one one zero one one zero 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 one one zero one zero so what we have there and i'm going to break it into nibbles here there we go what we have is the exact same thing we have a 16-bit representation of a binary number so now what we have to do is take our our, our ones and our zeros or our ons and our offs and translate them to the values of the bits so I'm going to do this real quick. So the first bit to the right is a zero, which means the one value is not represented. The next bit is a one, which means the two value is represented. So two plus 
Next bit is a zero, so the four is off. Next is a one, so the eight is represented, so two plus eight. And the next is this, so 16 is represented. And the next three are off, so 32 is off, 64 is off, 128 is off, 256 is on, 512 is on. There we go, so 256 is on, 512 is on, 1024 is off. 2048 is on, and 4096 is on, and 8192 is off, 16384 is off, and 32768 is on. So to get the decimal representation of this binary number, all we do is take the bits that we're on and add their decimal values together. And we're gonna to go to scientific mode on our calculator, sorry, programmer mode on our calculator. And you can see it gives you binary, hex, decimal, and octal. We're gonna to go to decimal, just so we can do some quick math here. So two plus eight plus 16 plus 256 plus 512 plus 2048 plus 4096 plus 32768 equals 39,706. So 39,706. Now, to check that, we'll clear this out. And let's start putting in our, let's go to binary mode here. And let's start putting in our binary number. Now on the calculator, you're going to enter it from left to right not right to left. So we'll look at the first one and it's a one. And then zero, zero, one, one, zero, one, one, zero, 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 one, one, zero, one, zero. So now our number, our binary numbers here are identical to what's here. And if you look, it already does it for you, but you can click on decimal and it will show you 39706, which is exactly what we got by adding the decimal values of our high bits or our on bits in this binary word. So there you have it. That is a simple way to convert binary to decimal. <clears throat> and of course, you can also convert decimal back to binary by taking your decimal value and breaking it into the nearest bit value and then turning on all the bits that are needed to, uh, to get to that number. Uh, I hope that helps you guys. I hope you learned a little bit about binary and how binary works. If you have any questions, uh, be sure and leave a comment. Be sure to like and share the video and subscribe to my channel to see more how-to videos. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Have a great day.